Alright, so what we're going to do today is more of a technique than a recipe, okay? You can take what we're doing and modify it any way that you want. But what we're going to make is some um, muffin meals, okay? So I've got a muffin pan here that I have greased up, put some oil in it, and then I have some meatballs that we made, okay? And I'm not going to show you how to make meatballs. You, you don't have to even make meatballs. I did this last night. And instead of the meatballs, I put in a spoonful of chili. And I thought it was okay. The wife really didn't like it. But I've been doing this with pizza, and she's really liked it with pizza. And so we're going to try to, uh, to do something else today. So to make the muffin mix, I've got two cups of Bisquick, right? And you can make your own Bisquick if you would like. It's basically just... Uh, all-purpose flour with a little bit of stuff added and we might do a video on that here one of these days to that we're adding uh, two cups of milk and two eggs and we're just going to whip that up into a nice little batter okay once that's mixed you want to put about a tablespoon of your mix at the bottom of each tin. Once you, once you have your uh, muffin pan, you just want to take whatever you're putting in it. Um, you just If you're going to do meat, you want it to be cooked. And you just want to fill the center of your tin up. Okay. And I'm going to put some pizza sauce in there over the top, on half of them. Because the pizza recipe is winning the hearts and minds of the wife, but I don't know how this is going to turn out, so I don't want to do all of them that way. Okay. Then you just Fill up the rest of the uh, bowls. You want to put another teaspoon or so in. Tablespoon, I'm sorry. You don't want to fill it all the way up because this is a quick bread. It's going to rise on its own. William. Hey. Let me give you these hugs. Oh, the, oh, you're running from Dada. Oh, William's running from Dada. <laughs> now, the original recipe I used for this said a 375 degree oven for 30 minutes. But that was too much. It was, uh, it was overcooked. So I'm going to start with 350 and we'll do it for 25 minutes and then I'm going to come back and recheck. Uh, I'm going to cook these for a little while, um, then about 10 minutes out I'm going to pull them out and put some cheese on there. Okay? So let's zoom in let's see what it looks like. As you can see that uh, it's kind of ugly looking as it sits, but wait till it bakes and puffs up. Here's what they look like out of the oven, and you can tell they're done when you can take a toothpick, stick in there, and it comes out clean, okay? And uh, I'm going to let these cool for a second so the cheese will sort of solidify. I'll put them out on a plate, and then we'll see if the wife likes them. She didn't like what I had yesterday because of the chili, but I really don't think it was because of the chili. I think it was because I overcooked them, and so they were uh, dry and hard and looked like hockey pucks. I wanted to get the wife to try this, but uh, thanks to y'all freaking knuckleheads that made fat jokes after the doomsday prepper thing, I can't get her on camera. I was just starting to get her to get on camera, but uh, here's the muffin with the uh, pizza sauce in there. Try that. That's good. Is it something I can make again? Yeah, it's really good. Normally, I do it lazy and I just put uh, crescent roll dough in there, but that's not very do-it-yourself. Here, we'll show you the inside. That look good? Alright, 
Appreciate it. Hey, William, you want a piece?